Welcome back to MPQ Mastery. Today we're going to start with our very first character profile. And it's going to be for one of the characters that we all know and love, one of the very first characters that you get in the game. And it is for the two-star Dark Avengers Bullseye. Before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification for future videos as well. We're just getting started. If you don't know the history of the character, The Dark Avengers is a comic book series where villains are wearing the costumes of traditionally heroes and kind of taking that character in a different position. So even though this is Bullseye, he's wearing Hawkeye's H purple suit. So just in case anybody was wondering about why it's, it's Bullseye, but he's wearing Hawkeye's costume. So anyway. This is the two-star character, uncommon. It's not super powerful, but it is very, very useful. He comes with three different abilities. One is a purple ability called Antimanty and Bones. One is a black ability called Murderous Aim. The other one is a green ability called Deadly Precision. If we break these down, the Adamantium Bones power is free. It's a passive power. Anytime somebody makes a purple match, Bullseye is going to put a protectile on the board. Now, the interesting thing about this dictates when he will put one on there. So at first level, it's, hey, he puts one on there if there's fewer than three on there. Um, at level two, it's four. Level three, it's five. Level four, it's seven. And at level five, it's no cap. I always suggest going to level five with this particular ability. It's one of his most useful. Murderous Aim is also a pretty cool ability that allows you to put a critical tile on the board. And at level one, it allows you to do one tile and it deals a bunch of extra damage if there's additional also critical tiles on there. At level two, it reduces the cost. Level three, it does more damage. And level four, it reduces the cost again. And in level five, it creates two tiles, which is really, really good. And then the third ability is called Deadly Precision. And what that allows you to do is destroy a certain number of tiles on the board. It allows you to kind of help things drop into where you're going to make fives to create those critical tiles in order to then use the murderous aim. They, they all kind of work together that way. So at level one, you can destroy three and it deals a little bit of damage. At level two, it deals some more damage. At level three, you can destroy three tiles. At level four, it deals more damage. And at level five, you can destroy up to five and does more damage. Each one of these kind of grows and builds as you go along, but there's also a certain synergy between the individual powers themselves. So we want to take a moment here to look at how Bullseye's powers work alone. And honestly, they're pretty great. Making purple matches, puts shields on the board, allows him to kind of defend himself while he's setting up for his shot. You always want to use Deadly Precision first. Even level three lets you destroy four tiles, which is usually enough. You can go to level five and it'll allow you to do five, but what that does is it allows you to eliminate tiles. You let some of them drop into fives to create those critical tiles. Then, once you have that done, if you have your murderous aim up to level five, then you can create two critical tiles at that time. This triggers the conditional part of the murderous aim, which is if there are four or more critical tiles, you get to deal tons more damage. So each of his powers actually work really, really well with each other. So you wanna pay special attention to that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna share with you a fight using a typical two-star bullseye. You'll notice that the one that I'm using is not quite up to champion level. It's because I just recently sold my, my other champion I had. I'm gonna do a whole video about selling champions uh, in a bit. But yes, yeah, so watch this, see what you think. And stick around after the fight so I can tell you about some really good combos with other characters that you can use bullseye.
sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls, cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that God can heal it all, if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man I could feel all of the turbulence, and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please, you're all too loud You don't speak quietly, opinions violently Thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man There are also some characters that work really well with Bullseye, and I wanted to break those down for you real quick as well. I have one one-star, a three-star, and then also two four-star characters that work really, really well with him. So the first one is the one-star Spider-Man. We all know that you can get the one-star Spider-Man. One-stars aren't that great, but he has an ability that matches up really well with the two-star Bullseye. His blue ability allows him to stun enemies, and his red does some decent damage. Both of those are all fine. However, charging up his purple ability is going to match purple, which is going to put shields on the board for Bullseye. And then when he uses his purple ability, it puts more critical tiles on the board, which then fuels his murderous aim. So all in all, Spider-Man 1 star, for especially for you beginning players, that's going to be one of the most awesome kind of team-ups there that you can have. There's also the three-star Iron Fist. Not only does he deal damage every turn, that usually ends up that he's at the forefront of the fight, which means he's taken damage a lot. However, if you are matching purples in order to fuel his ability, you're also creating shields, which helps protect that Iron Fist from f future attacks. And then, of course, when you use his purple ability, it creates a bunch of black tiles, which then, of course, will fuel Bullseye's murderous aim. So it kind of goes back and forth. Now I'm going to throw out a, a one that's actually kind of on the rarer side. Not everybody has this one. Four-star Black Panther. Now, Black Panther's abilities are to create attack tiles and protect tiles, fortify them, and make them more powerful. Also, anytime you match a protect tile, you damage your enemy. So with him and Bullseye both making tons of protect tiles and him making sure that they're fortified, you have lots of extra damage flying around. If you throw in the four-star Luke Cage, which I'm gonna end up doing a video about that team up, that creates even more protect tiles every time an enemy uses a power, which is a triple effect, and he ends up in a perfect place to get all of his abilities off. And then the last character that I wanna highlight here is the four-star Wasp which uh, used to be the only wasp, they just released a five-star wasp. But this is the four-star wasp, the one from the comic, not from, one from the movie. Her yellow ability switches protect to attack and attack to protect tiles. So spending a bunch of the battle matching purple so that you can create these protect tiles using bullseye actually really sets you up that you use her yellow ability and then all of a sudden, bam, you have so much extra damage that you are doing now because all those protect abilities are now switched to attack abilities and it allows you to take out an enemy super, super quick. So let me know what you think of the two-star bullseye. Do you think that he's the best? Do you think he's the suckiest? What other cool combos can you come up with? And let's discuss him down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and after a while, we're going to have you destroying more gems. Thanks for watching that video. I want you to let me know what the next character profile we should do is. I have a couple lined up, Three Star, Star Lord, and so many more that I'd love to do. But let me know down in the comments what you want to see.